Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Cheryl Technology Channel. Don't judge me. I know it's been a while, but I've been busy with other things like uh, preparing to move, stuff like that. Um, I'm wanting to move to another state, so that's why I've been kind of in and out of it. I've been doing my resume, stuff like that, but I am back again in this video. Oh, yes, and by the way, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into this. So in this video, you can see on the screen, there's a program called Chasm. Chasm is a containerized, it's sort of like a dashboard for multiple versions of Linux. And today I have, I saw a video and saw a video, but it wasn't, it was good and it got the job done, but I wanted to make it a little bit more flu 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 and make it more pretty. So that's what we're going to do today. So what I found out was that the, um, it uses Docker. And so what we're going to do today so you can see here i've got my little uh, ssh window i've already installed it it's a workspace technically a containerized workspace so it's using docker i believe and so you can run like full desktop environments full web browser sessions applications i mean you can this is the craziest thing i've ever seen i've never seen anything quite like it so today i'm gonna walk y'all through how to install it now i've never done this before so we're just gonna wing it as we go because that's what i like to do so i I've read all of the um so let's download it here um let's see well we don't need to technically download it we just need to follow the install guide single server install so i am running this this virtual machine is running on esxi 6.7 and it is i've probably got five or six virtual machines on that one server but it's dual cpu 64 gig of ram it's got multiple storage like it's got a huge storage space of i believe it was um over four terabytes it's huge a humongous so this is what the basic layout looks like you have your users connecting into the browser which connects to the chasm workspace the web interface side of things and then you have your rdp sessions which can go to the cloud as you can see right here and then your docker container so basically what we're going to do is we're going to follow this word for word we're going to follow the whole thing so we're going to copy this first part so you're changing your direct Directory to the temp directory so we'll just hit enter okay so see you can see now it's changed to the temp then right here we are going to curl we're going to get a file it looks like at aws apparently which i'm also studying for a cert in hit enter that'll go get your file and download it okay next we're going to tar this baby now tar means that you are um decompressing the file so let's do that and then we'll sudo bash and this will install it okay then it'll ask for my password uh yes we'll accept that okay then we wait now i'm not sure how long this is going to take shouldn't take very long i wouldn't think but i don't really know so that's i mean it's pretty simple <laughs> that was pretty easy and once it's done we'll be back and we are back so at this point y'all can see that now it's giving us some login credentials so what we're going to do um, the UI, we're going to use those. So let's open up another tab and I'm going to navigate to the, I wonder if it's got to be HTTPS. Yes, it does. So it is running HTTPS as the picture, right? Where was it? This picture shows right here, HTTPS. So let's do our bump, bump, our front wax. We'll get into this. Oh, this is so cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy these. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. No, 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 no. We'll put it in here. Email login. Why is it asking for an email login? Oh, okay, there we go. So it was based. All I needed to do was um, copy and paste these into there, and then it was actually good. So as you can see right here, here is the the desktop, um, the UI. So let's go to workspaces and I'm going to have to do some more uh, learning on this, but this is like freaking, oh, wait, what? Oh, this is so cool. I have no idea what I'm doing yet, y'all, but I like it. So this has been a video on how to install Chasm workspaces. This is how you do it. And the process took about 10, 15 minutes or so. Um, so I would highly recommend that you, if you're, if you're somebody out there in conclusion, if you're somebody out there and you really want to learn this stuff getting into things that you've never done before is probably the best way to to do things because when you do that you're pushing yourself further than you ever have before you're exploring things outside of what you're used to like i'm not used to doing stuff like this so well kind of i am but not really this is like a different thing for me and I, it's just cool i just freaking think it's cool so that's why i kind of decided that 
I'm going to do this and I'll I'll do a few more videos. Ignore the failed logins. That was my bad. I should have copied and pasted what was in the darn UI into the end of this part. Um, if y'all like this video, like it. If you don't, that's fine too. It's not I, my videos aren't for everybody, but there are some people that will like them. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I really want to really iterate to y'all that if you if you're wanting to get into IT and you don't know which way to go, just start with simple stuff. Just start up a VM on your desktop and start there. Just do little things like that. Just just do really, really small things to start with. And then you'll build yourself up. And like now I'm I manage an entire Active Directory infrastructure, a group policies. I've built a few of those now. I mean, there's just, you can do all kinds of stuff, but um, I would highly recommend, IT is probably my, I think, the coolest field of all. And I know a lot of people who would agree with me, Damien. And uh, go see my IT Unicorn on YouTube. So if y'all, if you, I think I'm done. I think that's all I have for y'all for right now. Um, this just showed, this was a basic rundown of how to install it and get it up and running. And uh, I will put this under my servers folder. Um, if you would, give me a thumbs up hit the notification bell so when I come out the video you will get a notification on it and until next time my peeps I love each and every one of you and so does the Lord thank you for watching and until next time thank you everybody peace out